morning everyone. It's Monday 24th of April, 8am. Today I'm taking you through right through the centre of London, from east to west. We'll be passing through the financial area itself. The financial area is the main um, economy for London where all the banks and the financial services operate it's called the city this area here is called Isle of Dogs as in Island of Dogs there is no there is no relation to dogs itself, but that's what it's called. Or different colors they tend to to group together so in certain areas London has more black people some areas have more Indian some areas are more white in this area it's mainly Indian and black people I'm in the morning, the shops are not open yet. Kebab. It's like lamb, chicken mainly. Kebab uh, is a uh, Middle Eastern food, I think. So they don't do pork. And there is a uh, Chinese takeaway restaurant. The lady exercising, going for her morning run. People leave flowers there. Someone who died uh, in a road accident, probably. Find her everywhere now. Oh, it's always been like that. Roads are dangerous. Probably a lady rider. houses are larger than the average London house they have four floors below ground ground level and then two above ground and, uh, Tesco Express is a grocery store Cars turning left are going into Rubberhide Tunnel. It's a uh, 
probably over 100 years old and it was built when there were no cars when they were used, still using horse and cart and it goes under the river Thames incredible they had such sophisticated uh, knowledge in those days pure knowledge blue sign with the motorbike and, and taxi below it that, that means uh, motorbikes can ride on this bus lane separated by the solid white line people wearing those long uh, gowns and covered heads are Muslim so I believe this area is uh, quite a lot of Muslim people too and this road is called commercial road This road has many commercial um, wholesalers selling uh, fashion item clothing to other resellers so it's a good name for it, commercial road and there is uh, quite a few curry places selling uh, Eastern A East Asian food uh, curry, kebab because the East Asian people mainly live around here see, Milan fashion I doubt it's from Milan ahead of us is the city city of London is through Fritz they are a hardware store they sell everything to do with DIY whether you're fixing your taps or doing your electricity or doing using tools to build, do your building work you can get it all there
we're in old gates now. Old gates. You see a lot of people working in financial district here wearing suits. Not sure what they do exactly. One of the impressive buildings they built for themselves, these banks. All made from your own money. Your money. Can't drive in there today. At this time, having a loud office and flight cliffs. So I have to turn left. Amazon Fresh stores, they're everywhere now. So, we can't even go through there now, on a weekday.
Bank Street, Bank Station, and uh, Cannon Street. Sorry, this is Cannon Street. St. Paul's Cathedral That clock is wrong. It's now half past eight. That white building there is the Old Bailey, the UK's um, highest criminal court maybe. That there is reserved for serial killers. If you're a serial killer you find yourself there. Very serious criminal cases up in there. This area is called Oldwich and on the left there is King's College uh, University. The Australian Embassy is the last building directly ahead of you. 
behind the buses. The universities are very um, wealthy now. So this large building on the left has uh, many of the student facilities, including uh, cafes, entertainment. Uh, the funds come from foreign students who pay ridiculous fees to get in. Pretty bad around here. I'll take a shortcut. This is uh, behind Covent Garden.
so busy. Everyone's trying to get to work now. to get through here, going round in circles. Now we're behind Leicester Square. That's the square. People draw them to see now. Here's a tip for you. If you're ever around here, walk into one of those casinos. Hippodrome Casino, there's another one down there. Ask them for a membership card. And with that, it's free. With that you can go into the casino and order free drinks from the bar, soft drinks. They have very comfortable chairs, TVs, you can watch the sports, get away from the rain, relax, have a free soft drink. All free. Be careful though, otherwise you could be spending your money on the tables. left there is Chinatown but we won't go be going in there. There's a Harry Potter show. The head is Tottenham Court Station and Tottenham Court Road. It used to be a, a great place where you have all these electronic stores. Instead of buying online, you buy them, you walk down this shop, this uh, high street, there'll be dozens of electronic stores. You can walk in and see the, the best electronics and check out the best prices. But now, it's all changed. Turned into normal retail places, like cafes and clothing. Such a pity.
they decorated this is a uh, Oxford Street they decorated with the flags yesterday Sunday because there was a large uh, marathon held here through London 76 mile charity event London Marathon so we have Oxford Street here everyone's shopping destination when they come to visit London it's one of the new tube lines Elizabeth, La La Elizabeth line named after the late Queen It's really busy here during the weekends and in the evenings. So many shoppers. But this time in the morning it's the office workers, so still quiet. Shops are not open yet even. They normally open about 9, 9 a.m. The tourists will be having their their breakfast, the tra traditional English breakfast in their hotels. We are behind the Oxford Street and uh, you can see John Lewis store there at the back of John Lewis store good thing about John Lewis stores is that their price is quite reasonable and on top of the manufacturer's one-year guarantee they often give two-year guarantee for electronic products so you buy for example an Apple iPhone instead of the Apple one-year guarantee you get two years guarantee not that they break down that often most of the people just lose it or drop it Oh, it's still useful. area is called Marleybone
There's Portman Square. Those large buildings there are five star hotels. Very close to Oxford Street for the uh, luxury tourists. So that is Marble Arch. Next to the Hard Rock Hotel. This road is Park Lane, the most expensive road in um, on a Monopoly board game. Mainly uh, luxury cars, five-star hotels, and you got Hyde Park on the right. Some very fancy hotels here. That there is the Hilton Hotel, and if you go, uh, if you're ever around here, try to go up uh, to the top floor where the bar and great views, and they serve some really good drinks in there. A little bit more expensive than normal, but uh, it's worth it. So that's it for now, guys. I hope you enjoy this interesting uh, tour of the city and parts of London on a Monday morning through rush hour this fresh summer's day and I hope to see you next time I hope you see me next time so click to, uh, like and subscribe to help the channel thanks very much everyone take care of yourselves and have a good week